Also, the last thing I want to highlight is be building your credibility, folks, okay? What do I mean by this? Number one, be building your brand. Like I said, I've done other talks. So that Lena and uh, Yanina have done talks about building your brand. Your brand is that reputation is what people think about you when you're not around, right? I mean, there are, it amazes me how oftentimes when I meet someone, I do a talk and they're all like Mr. Eeyore, right? I'm like, hey, Oscar, hey, nice to meet you. Oh, hey, John, what's up? Yeah, Oscar, I'm looking for a job. Okay. I'm not a jerk, okay? So I'm, I don't say this to them, but in my mind, I'm like, listen, Eeyore, I'm never going to refer you to anyone because if that's your attitude, that's my reputation on the line. What are people going to say? What's up, Oscar? Like, what's up with this person? No, be building your brand, be building that credibility, okay? Number two, this goes for actually anyone, but especially for those of us that are 40 and older, we have so much credibility, so much experience out there, right? And we are amazing at getting the right verbiage. Some of us even hire someone to do our LinkedIn profile. Some of us even hire someone to do our resume, right? And so they say a lot of beautiful things about us. Where's the proof, Joe? Where's the proof? Remember that movie, Show Me the Money? Don't just tell me, show me the money. Tell and show, okay? Show examples of your work, okay? Like my dad would say in Spanish, the lengua me como 20 platos. What does that mean? Big mouth fraud. Show me, okay? The work that you do. And then lastly, get recommendations, folks. My gosh, some of you are like prolific at writing recommendations on Yelp. Most of them are negative, right? And yet we go right onto these uh, websites and we are influenced what people write about a business. Well, can I tell you something? People get influenced about the recommendations they say about you. And when I see that you have been in the workforce for 20, 25 plus years, and on LinkedIn, you have maybe one or two recommendations, it tells me one of two things. A, you're not active on LinkedIn, or B, you suck at what you do and no one wants to vouch for you. How am I supposed to know which way to go? Get recommendations.